All right, so we think we found a fix, and we think it's... <gasps> you know what? I think it was this update. I think I did this before. I think. I'm not sure. Because I found on a tech net for downloading the latest, it says to Service Pack 3, IE8, and then to install this update. So I, you know, that's probably what I missed. I bet if I look back at one of my old videos, I did that. Well, let's find out. If this fixes it, we'll copy it to your flash drive. Oh, definitely. Work, please. I hope it works. I think you're right. I think I, I think you are right on this. I think there was another update I was missing. I searched it, I didn't find this KD number. I think that other KD was an update for IE6 on an older service pack that fixed it. But, because should I... Try, should we try without restarting, or should I just go ahead and send a restart? Send a restart. I want to be on the safe side. Wait for part I missed the dates when updates actually work on XP. <laughs> Literally, I have never had an update fail on XP. XP updates were so simple too back then. They didn't even take that long. No, you reboot. You're back up and running in like, in like a minute or two. On seven, seven, configuring Windows update. Configuring, reboot, configure, reboot. Here's a here's a question. Why did XP never have to configure? I guess they handled it differently. Why can't they do that in seven and ten? Probably because it's much more advanced. Oh my god, that what that did you hear that thunder? Oh, you have thunder in your house? Oh my god. Well, we had thunder here not too long. Yeah, we did too. Imagine if the power went out when I was in the middle of recording. Julia, okay, so legit, um, we, my aunt took me, my mom, my grandma out to dinner. Yeah. It was pouring down rain. Yeah, it was for me. It was for me a couple minutes ago. I mean, like. I got home there, no rain, but still thunder and lightning. I'm going to do something to fix that later. I'm sure I can. Oh, yeah. Either that or I'll just uninstall it. Because you have the reinstall this. Yeah, I do. So, somewhere. So it's not like I need it. Besides, why am I going to use it anyways? What, am I, what would I even use it for? You never know. Maybe, maybe it's your only computer with a working word processor. True. Or maybe you just feel like doing it. What should I use this computer for? Just use it for random old crap. Keep it as like an old, like, an old Windows XP machine for nostalgic reasons. Have like an old desktop XP and an old, and an old uh, laptop XP. See, I had a better XP laptop, but my dad took it. I don't have it anymore. Oh, uh, rip? I lost it. It's gone. Okay, hold on. Logan says he already direct that Cool. On, Tony, what are you doing? <laughs> He's just making. Cool. And he's using MS Paint. <laughs> yep. I have a professional MS Paint. To be honest, for back then, it really wasn't that bad of a program. It does what you need it to do. Like, I use Paint as, like, a sort of, like, Mm -hmm. It's like paint gets the little stuff done and paint got that net, net gets the big stuff done. Uh-huh. Like I'm using paint to hide, make it a more high definition. Ah. Uh. Because in paint.net it's like harder. Oh yeah. Trying to figure out. Um, but I do wish that the sizes were more. Alright, try it. It's gonna keep popping up. It says not today. <laughs> no. 
Look, it's on the very top now. But you can download it there. Yep. If this okay. actually works, click yes. So you can't like do MS Paint on VM. Oh yeah, I thought it was something else. Guys. Ah! Well, guys, I've got to look into it. I wonder if there's a log somewhere. I think Dell removed updates on this system. Because I thought, th check your XPVM, see if there's a Windows Update service. Because I could have sworn XP had a Windows Update service. I know that XP did updates for Internet Explorer. But it still had a service. But it still had a service. It doesn't like work the same way as Windows today do. Dude Fox, can you look on your XPVM? Oh my gosh. I'm looking at Good job! Good job! Okay, hey, hold on. I also want to help Logan. Okay, it's gonna make the program. I hope it's saved. I wanna help Logan real quick and I've already found what I need to do. <laughs> Uh, high definition. Enabled on this site, disabled on this site. I, I want you to check if there's a service for Windows it's Update. It's booting. It's booting. Oh. Is that what it is? So look at that. It's so much better. Except for right there. There? Yeah. Uh, I can Fix it. S-C-D-O-A-T. No! W-U-A user B. Can you not, Sonic? Uh... <clears throat> Shoot. Oh, I don't know. Sonic! Why? I will never do S-C-D-O-A-T. Delete first, okay, no. No, it's not. <clears throat> you know what's the best command ever? What? RD. No, RD is bad. Okay, did you check your VM yet? It's loading still, but I noticed <clears throat> the services now. After this, uh, I done. What happens if I do Bell Star, not Star? Oh, no. So, oh, it's that. What? It was under a different name. It was under automatic updates. Okay, I think I found something here. You need, micro use, you need Windows Update Agent. Windows XP SP3 breaks, yeah, blah, blah. <laughs> And yeah, it just says download the new agent below CMB run stop the update something. Let's see what happens if I restart it. Okay. Now run. Now try the site. I will fix this. There's a specific update for this, I'm pretty sure of that. Why would they do that? Because then you can't access the Windows Update site. No! Tony! No! <laughs> no! Yeah, there's something we're missing. I'm gonna have to dig deep. Oh, thank you, Tony. <laughs> do not do that! That's bad. <laughs> SC delay. I swear I hate SC delay. Do it. No. I don't care. Do it. I won't do it. 
I'll fix it in time. I just gotta figure out. That looks really nice, though. Get together, look, look, hey, Tony. Look at my man from. Yeah. Dare me? No! Sonic! Don't delete your updates on Insider. Why not call me zero B? What's zero B? Get into a space. Oh, I like that. I just came to my mind. What is color zero C? Red. What about color zero Z? Zero Z. That's not a color. What about D? Yellow. Aw. Nah, no, there's more. What is color 7E? 7E, well, okay, look. <clears throat> one. What's color, color, look, I'm gonna one do color 1F. Color 1B. Color it looks like a blue screen. Wait, what are you doing? Color 1B. I'm following the... The service does not exist. <laughs> I typed it wrong. Color <laughs> 1B? Don't type it wrong. Good job. It's W-U-A-U-S-E-R-V. I know what you're doing, I think. Hey, look. Ooh. Hey, look, this is a Julia. Don't! No! Okay, you added the two. This is just something that. that was Not if you want me to. Don't, Sonic! You better stop. You don't have a restore point. It's not funny. I don't like that command. It triggers me. It actually. Use Katie's best tool. No, it triggers me. Stop. You didn't actually delete it, did you? Darn it. Darn it. Oh, well. I know you're. I'm gonna use Katie's best tool. Please don't. Alright, mm. well, I, do you, it, might, it doesn't always work right. Don't, mm. and because you're on Insider, it might not work right. Don't do it. I don't want you having to reinstall. But don't worry, I can just, I can, I can just grab an RS4 MCT. That'll reinstall your OS, it'll wipe it. And MCTs don't work on Insider. Seriously? Yeah. So don't do it. Don't don't try it. You're risking it. All right. Well, I don't know what's going on with this XP, but Sonic, do not do it. It really it it it's silly. I don't see not, what. I'm. Oh, I, you're, oh, I created oh, this new action. Your server is. And most people in your server are now going to change the, their um profile picture. To a Windows update icon. Oh God. Either failed or yet chat or check for updates or. Wait. How? Right here, this service right here was not starting. Oh my God! It was all. Oh my God! I. It was that easy. It was that the whole time. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you <by> <laughs> <laughs> one little thing, one service, stopped it. You, oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, I was reading this form on leapingcomputers.com, and he said go to Windows Services and make sure automatic update service and the background intelligent transfer service are enabled. I'm like... Background intelligent transfer is on XP. Oh. Oh, works. Should, should we do this? Yes. 
What is if I disable Windows Update? Start now. Continue. Nobody actually reads the you love. Yeah, I know. Oh my yeah, god. Definitely want to install this. Oh yeah. Windows ER. Since when do you used to get updates from a website? Not anymore, it's built into Windows. It actually worked. It's re more reliable, probably, built in. Every time I look at this, I think, how is it online if it's not connected? Then I see it. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Remove that, I I'm hate- I'm gonna get rid of this, because this can be just this <laughs> I could never get rid of that back then. It would always reappear on every reboot. Hey, Tony. What? I'm opening up... Custom it. Let's guess how many updates. I'm gonna say 190. I'm gonna say, like, 5,000. Who wants to guess? Windows XP can't download updates, I think. Yeah, it can. We just fixed it. We got it running. Who wants... Everyone guess the update. I'm gonna say 190. I'm gonna say 190. What? Probably 200. What are you gonna say, dude, Fox? I'm gonna guess one, to be honest. What? Just, just, just wait. I think it's going to stay one. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, right. One. Believe it when I see it. Okay, what do you think, Tony? Let's do all the updates first and then do that. Tony, how many updates? Julia, I'm gonna do the registry half for updates till 2019. Can we just get all the regular updates before we do that? Yeah. Okay, Tony. I don't know about the registry half. Turns out I can only do POS Ready. It's based on POS Ready 2009. And you can only get support up to 2019. Alright, Tony, guess the amount of updates. I'd say 250. Alright, we'll see who's closest. I'm gonna get rid of these stupid bookmarks. Do it. Default bookmarks book bottom. Who remembers when, when Microsoft Outlook was called Hotmail? Oh, that, that was so great back then. My cousin still has his email as at I have an at Hotmail.com email. I, for, I think I might have forgot it. I'm not sure. I converted over to an Outlook, but I still have the at Hotmail email and it still works. Yeah, you can actually, they actually let you use Hotmail.com. Still. What kind of name is, what kind of name is Hotmail? I mean, come on. Yeah, Microsoft. Oh, it's checking for updates. You think? I'm checking for updates. I already checked. <clears throat> We're gonna come back. Hey guys, look at this. No, there's two. Oh. Close enough. Close enough. Don't do that! I was closest out of all of them. I'm going to put my case other piece back on. Stop it! Can you show me your Windows update? Okay. So you want to go ahead and re enable it? Yes! Okay, I know how to re enable it. Why would you just. No! No! Wait, what? That works? You spelt it way wrong. Disenable it in services. No! Sonic, 
Unable it now. I swear you better stick and enable it now. See, that doesn't work. Go to services. Go to serp. Go to services, please. Go to services. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cause you disabled it. Okay. Enable the Windows Stick and Update service. You crazy maniac. This is your favorite. No. Everyone Installation complete. <laughs> Automatic, I think. No, I'm doing manual. Do manual. I think it is manual. Yeah, I changed it to manual. It is manual in 10. I forgot. Now, check it for updates. Now. <laughs> Calm down. That wasn't funny. Oh. Okay, I'm running Windows Update. Don't <clears throat> stink and delete it or disable it again. Come on, I.E. work with you. Okay, now let me go ahead while it's checking for updates. No! 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 Well, I stopped it, Julia. You're crazy. Look at you did do it. <laughs> oh! Check it. Wait, how many updates? Oh, ah! So now he's installing themes, guys, and I'm recording this for part three. <laughs> we'll install the updates after this in the next part or the next video because I'm not gonna finish this tonight. I probably stopped the updates Stop. Wait, what? What? Yes, <laughs> Media Center. What's, war what's the other one? What's the other one? Hold on. Oh, when this comes back, this lets you click things again. I'll, I'll show you. I didn't know you could get those themes on home. Yeah. Because they're official Microsoft, you can download them. You just have to know where to look. Okay. Hey, guys. Here's how yeah, you I like embedded style better. For people who don't like updates on their computer, I like embedded better. I like embedded better. It's easy. You click the stop button. No! And that's how you stop Windows up. Yes, I'm gonna do that after this. It's just, we've been messing with this so long, and that's the last thing I'm doing tonight. Alright, so uh, shut it down after this? Yeah, after we change the theme, shut it down. Okay. And we'll work on it more tomorrow, or whenever. Oh, I like that. I like that. We'll install these tomorrow. Hey guys, that's a lot of updates. No, that's impossible. Look at the blue. I love blue, that's why I like that theme. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I see why I never use RS5. Why? Look. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, that happened to me. Alright, well, I'm, guys, we're gonna stop the video for now, for for this, uh, for this, and we will record more clips, I don't know when, but next time we mess with this, so say bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Alright, guys, so we're back on this XP computer. What day is it today? It's the 4th, um, and literally, I tried to end that, um, preparing to install thing from WordPerfect, and this happened. Um, so don't send it, wait, would it actually send it? I clicked send. I don't think it matters because I don't think Microsoft uses that service anymore. I'm gonna click it and see if it sends. I'm just curious. I'm gonna be right back. Send airport. It's not gonna send. I canceled them and I have one. Oh my god, it actually submitted it. <laughs> okay, well, it's already connected. It is connected. I highly doubt it actually. I highly doubt they view it anymore. It's sent though. 
Wait. Sense, Wait, what? It? Sonic said, Julia, you're at a store and you saw a Windows Vista machine and a Windows 10 RTM machine. Which one would you go for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Anyways. He did, though, he didn't say update for disabled. So technically, you could update it to RS4. Exactly. So then I take RTF. Windows update. I'm. I'm, gonna on my iPad. I'm clicking it. It's not opening. <laughs> I'm gonna redraw my iPad. Okay. Is that Windows Update? I assume that's, I think that's the Windows Update icon. I'm clicking on it and it's not doing anything. Flutter your mouse over it and should, if it says downloading, it's not gonna open. Is, it, is the Windows Update icon yellow with an explanation mark in it? Yeah. Okay, like, just, just make it sure. And see if it says downloading updates. Downloading updates 2%. Oh, that's gonna take. That's gonna take a while. Oh no! Tony just made an announcement on his server. What is it? Uh, I feel like it's gonna be about me saying that RTM thing earlier. <laughs> I'm, I'm opening it now. <laughs> Please don't be about me. Okay, let's see. Please don't. Oh! <laughs> I knew it was gonna be that! <laughs> Let me move this, I wanna show, I wanna pull this up! Oh, yep, I got a notification! Oh my god! <laughs> no! I, that's, no! No, stop, that is fake! That is fake! That is fake! That is fake. I, I I really think that was edited. I think that was edited. Oh my goodness. I had a feeling it was gonna be about me though. <laughs> I had a feeling. DV20! Come on, DV20. You know I don't like RTM. Okay. Anyways. What's it at now? Downloading updates, 4%. How many updates do you think it's downloading? Probably over 100. It's likely. So I guess while that's downloading, can I connect and try and get this stupid work perfect fixed? All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get Dude Fox connected. <laughs> guys, there's this file called update.exe and it, like, there now it's gone and like it appears and then it's gone and we think it might be installing updates. Wait, show it. Okay, there it is. It's there. Yes, there it is. And now it's gone. It's now gone. <laughs> what is that, guys? I, it's it's that. See, it, look, it, it does something. It does something. It's like, I think it's install. It goes away when it's done installing the update. And then it goes installing again. And hi, whoever just joined. <laughs> what are you doing? Is that Sonic? <laughs> No. No. Yes, you sure not. Dude Fox opened command prompt. Hey, Dude Fox. Oh. Uh, DB20 is right now, uh, I saw him open up an ISO of RTM. Can you tell him to not? Uh... That's... Right now he's installing it. No, he's not. No, he's not. Prove it. <laughs> well... He's installing it right now. I... Right now he disconnected me, so he can install his RTL. Is he actually? He said he is. Why are you opening Discord on XP? Because we said we were going to do Discord for one of the things in the video. Oh yeah. 
that I'm still recording. Uh, this one's not gonna work on XP. What? I know, but we're still gonna try it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop the video and resume back when we got the software like downloaded, but also if Windows Update shows back up, but I think it's automatically doing them in the background. But anyways. I'm recording and we're checking Process Explorer to see what that process was. Okay, okay. Right, these are Windows Update. Well, let, don't let Windows Update run. Oh, we're letting it run. Yeah. Windows Update. Make sure you, if you, make sure you let it run for the wanna try patch. Wait, where does it go? What's it, what's it doing? Where is it? Because... There, okay, listen, there is a wanna try patch for XP. Oh wait, it's back. What? What? It's back. Wait, go to its custom. Windows found 132 updates. Let's scroll through and see how many updates there are. Just use the other one. Oh my god, security update for XP, security update for- Here, let me scroll, let me scroll. I'll do it. Here. Wait, what is that? Oh my god, that's a thing still? Yes. Okay. Install. Ah, I froze, install. Okay, well, let's close everything down while- Let's click the notification to see if it's installing. Yup, the updates are being installed. I actually like the old way it updated with an icon. It's a lot better. It's not. What? You know, it's not as annoying with a little icon. Yeah, unlike today when you have to open up the settings screen and stuff. And also full screen pop up messages. Yeah, that is. Like when you're in the middle of doing something, a whole full screen pop up message comes up. I know. It's bullcrap. You can't just minimize it. Windows XP by phone. No, it's already activated. These are updating quick. Know how quick updates were back then? Yeah. It's 8.24 p.m. What? I forgot. Click the back button when someone tries to call you. Oh, I've done that. <laughs> I've been there, done that. What? what? Yeah, I know, that's nice. I wish they could just keep it that way. Why do they have to change it? Wait, what, Dude Fox? My guess is that they did, they changed it, and because of that change, they couldn't do that anymore. Oh, right. So, here's one good thing. When we do the SP4, it automatically does the updates of 2019. So, technically, XP is still safe. If it's up to date, and you can find appropriate software. Wow. But yeah, because basically it tricks Windows Update into thinking you're running uh, uh, embedded POS ready 2009. How do those patches even work on XP? I mean, I haven't had an issue with them on my two XP laptops. Wow, and you still use them? Not every day, but I mostly use them for old XP games that I found that I find in my mom's closet. Oh wow. So these are updating quick guys, I will come back when we're done installing them so you don't have to be bored of watching an installing updates screen because that's kind of boring. <laughs> Alright guys, y'all be back.
Guys, it is ready to restart for the installation. Oh, okay, let's do that reboot. Boot the thing already. We are. So, so guys, I will come back when it boots up because it's going to boot up right up because... Actually, let's record this. I want to talk a little bit about XP. So, XP came out in 2001 of, what was it, October 25th? Yeah, October 25th, 2001. But, here's the sad news of it. It actually got discontinued on April 8, 2014, I, which is almost like more than 10 minutes. What if it pops up the end of support message at boot? <laughs> oh, yeah, it probably will. You think? Tell me a looking chat. Okay. Say it. <laughs> I said it. Oh, God. Oh god. <laughs> but Microsoft was so happy enough, they only let it support up to 2014, which is like oh. almost about like three years above 10 years. It's back on. XP updates are so fast. All you do is reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. I was with the back at the time. Good. All right, well, guys, I'll be back in a little bit. So we found a Netscape installer, and just for the heck of it, we're gonna install Netscape. <laughs> Do not tell me this is a reinstall. Oh, yeah, it just re it just reinstalls the stuff. Wait, what? It just re reinstalls the internet service. Oh, so it won't work. It probably won't, but I mean, does it install the browser? I'm curious. Try it. Yeah, we can always uninstall it. I'm curious to see if it installs the browser. If I see Netscape Navigator on the desktop, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Same. Netscape Navigator. Oh, boy. Ah! No way. If it's Netscape Navigator, I'm going to laugh. Aw. Looks like it. I think it is an email client. What? Let me Google. Let me Google something real quick. All right, I'm gonna, just trying to find something here as well. Net. Net. Internet service. Now yeah, what is Netscape? Wait, is Netscape still around? No. Uh, uh, yes they are. What? I just found some web pages. ISP.netscape.com. Oh my god, they still have a mail. They they're still like an internet company, I think. Copyright to 2018 Old Incorporated. Oh, no way. No way. No way. Let me see the link in chat. I, no way. Oh, wait. Wrong chat. Oops. That skate is still alive. No oh, stinking. Wow. No stinking way. Okay, well, we know what that is. I'm going to uninstall it. <laughs> That's an email client. Oh, my God. I can't believe they're still alive. Sign in. Okay. No thanks. That, that makes me think. Are they dial up or are they like a broadband? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, wait. I click sign in. And it says at the bottom, copyright 2018 AOL Incorporated. AOL? The AOL is dead. I don't know. AOL. Are they really dead? I think just they're... No, the I think it's just their instant messenger that's dead, AIM. I think it's just AIM that died, not AOL itself, but...
because there is. I can still access AOL. Because they're still at AOL.com emails, so I assume it's just AIM. The yeah. Thing. But I got AIM working with another, like, thing. I should reinstall that. I used to use that. And during the one of the challenges, I think it was my yeah, ISO. Was the last no, I, it was my ISO challenge. I don't think it was the Winland. It was toward the end of the ISO challenge of mine. I cannot wait to do that again. Are you excited for that next year? I mean, it's going to be different. Yeah, we are going to make it a little different, guys. It's not going to be exactly the same because obviously we want to revamp it. But this time, Sonic will be hosting the ISOs. Right, Sonic? Rip Sonic. Sonic's dead. Sonic died. But, yeah, because my internet connection messed up last time. After I uploaded all those ISOs, my internet was dying for days. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna... His internet I is stronger. Yeah. No. Pause. Oh yeah, more updates. Pause. Pause, you thing. It's paused. Is he replied? He probably won't end up replying until tomorrow. Probably. By the way, what was what I was gonna say though? I wonder what me and you are gonna get in the next challenge. Uh, I can only hope for something decent. I I I hope I get luck. I want to get like see you. I want to get see you, even though it will be unsupported by then, most likely. I'm not sure if FCU would be unsupported by then, I assume it will too. I don't know when it loses support though, so maybe not. Never know. It might still be supported then. I think it actually might, but I know CU won't, for a fact. But, oh well. When does CU lose support? So let's, let's find out. I think it's like in a couple months. I think it was like October. Windows end of support. They have an entire page on that. They do. I have it bookmarked. I just don't know where it is because I have too many bookmarks. Windows lifestyle factory. That's what it is. I'm going to see. So we have two updates. For X, okay, seventeen oh three, I think. Yeah, 9, I was right. What about FCU? When's its end of support? FCU is seventeen oh nine, April 9th, twenty nineteen. Ooh, so it will have lost support as well by then. When is Windows ten L LTSB? What version? What do you mean? What do you mean? Windows 10 version 2015 LTSB. That okay. Date availability: July 29, 2015. Mainstream support end date: October 13, 2020. Extend support end date: October 14, 2025. That LTSB 2015 is RTM. Yeah, but, I mean, it's not support till 2025. So, I guess... Let's see when Windows 7 support ends. 2014, 2020! <laughs> no! It found two updates. I'm trying to type this. Okay, and then 8.1 is January 10th, 2023. Ah. Man, I really want to keep Windows 7. We, we didn't do the other updates for software and hardware optionals. Oh, I didn't see those. Or XP. There's mo a lot more updates. I didn't see those. Okay, we'll do them next. I'll stop the video for now. Alright guys, we're, we're gonna reboot and do these two. We forgot about the ones over there. We're gonna do those next, so just do the honors and reboot. Oh yeah, Team Viewer reboots, so that way it relaunches. And, and there we go. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, that's that. So I'll come back. Guys, there's the, uh, the support one. Windows XP and support is on April 8th, 2015. Click here to learn more. 
<laughs> oh goodness. It doesn't even say XP on the list anymore. That's funny. What happens if I click there? Click where? I'll show you when you connect. I'll record when you reconnect. He's going to click there and see what happens. Click it, do the honors, click it, see what it, where it goes. Click here. What's it gonna say? I bet you it's gonna say upgrade to all Windows 10 PC. Or buy a new computer. Well, technically that's the same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this one behind it. Oh, there's Firefox. I'm glad it's opening in a modern browser. Somewhat modern. It should be able to load it. Uh, what? It's going backwards! What? <laughs> you've never seen that before? I think I have. Uh-oh. It's... Firefox is lo Oh my god! What's- uh, what's that? Applies to Windows 10. What? How? Wait, what? Wait, read it. I'm gonna click OK now. OK, now let's read this and see what it says. This looks different than what I read. What happens if I continue to use XP? No crap, you're going to get hacked. <laughs> I already know that. How do I stay protected? Right here. Upgrade or buy a new... Get my face to get a PC and buy a new computer. Oh my god. Your files for free. I remember this. I tried this tour. It sucks. It does? Yeah, that PC Uber thing they partnered with. I never even heard of it. <laughs> I wonder if that, that link is still available. It says in for a limited time. Stop popping up, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I think so. What happens if you click it? Is it? I doubt it. Wait, scroll up. Scroll up. Move your files for only. $15. So it's not free. Not and free. that's an old version of 10. What 10 is that? Uh, that's something older than uh, RS4. It says ask me anything. That's stinking RTM. Uh, let's say, look, at the, look at the action center. Ew. That's RTM because RTM says ask me anything, but NU says I'm Cortana, ask me anything. This website, really, this... <laughs> free transfer system. <laughs> you, it, it said free, but yet it's not. But it did say for a limited time, so... For a limited time, and I think I downloaded it during that limited time. So I have a copy of it. Ah, hello. Now, go back to Windows Update. Oh, there we go. It's Microsoft Update. Sorry, but XP went from Windows Update to Microsoft Update, then they made it back to Windows Update. I don't understand that. Why? Just Hi. Why did they change it and then change it back? So what are you guys talking about? How Windows XP is not called Windows Update, it's called Microsoft Update. Oh. And then they changed it back to Windows Update in Vista. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. When was it Windows Update? Like a long time ago. They changed it to Microsoft Update. And then changed it back. That's fun. Yeah. It still says Microsoft Update on XP. It still lets you download updates. That I'm amazed about. It's because of POS Ready. Well, we haven't installed that yet. I know, but it's still just based on the same website, so they kept the site up. That's true. It's very I similar. Once POS Ready dies, that web this website's gonna die. Soon after, probably not immediately, probably a couple years after POS Ready dies. Okay, so what happened while I was gone? Not much. We're just we're, we've just been installing updates. Can I see? It it it's. Uh, oh, oh, it's good. It's that software. 
Dot net crap work. Dot net installed separately. Julia, can I show you something? Dude, Fox, you can not install that first. You can only install it separately for. Yeah, it says this update must be installed separately. Yeah. Julia, do you see my stream? Yeah, I'm recording right now though. Oh, look, 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 look at this. Oh my goodness! Wait, how'd you make it dark like that? Dark light. I, I use this thing. Why don't you just use the built-in dark mode on YouTube? Because I, 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 I have to do the new one to upload, but then I switch back to classic, so I have to use dark mode. Because I, I, I'm not a fan of the new YouTube. Uh. Whatever. Well, that's a, an opinion, so. My opinion is new YouTube looks crap. I like the new one. It, the only reason they changed it was because of the material design. Yeah. Yeah, but everything looks bigger and, you know, it's oh, like you have to scroll more. You have to scroll more, so. Well, I'm going to stop this video and come back when we go back to this update page. More updates. More updates, guys. How many more? 11 updates. Let's try to check the other updates as well, like all these. See what they all are first. Can I see it, Julia? Well, it's kind of hard to see because it doesn't. No, take off Windows Search 4.0. That's bad. I hate that program. What Windows Search and X? What are you gonna install? Security Essentials. That's not even gonna work. Try it though. I think Security Essentials might work. Oh, it found some drivers. Should we install them? Yeah. Let's do them. Let's install them. Yeah. Everything. So Julia, why can't you just in like install like seven on that machine? Cause I I wanted to keep the factory install. Yeah, but seven um, XP is like oh boy, you know, old. I know. But we're going to do that registry hack. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop this video, let these install, and we will come back. Oh, it tried to install Windows Live, and it gave an error, and that's the error, guys. I took a picture. I'll send you guys soon, but I'm just going to click close, and we're doing some updates. I'm going to be going to bed. I might have to let this run overnight if it doesn't finish before I go to bed, because um, I want to lay down. It's getting kind of late. Um, I, I mean, at least for me, because I, I try to go to bed at a decent time. So I'm just gonna let this run. I'm, I'm, and well, I guess I'll let you guys know what happened. So yeah. All right, guys. So we're back on the computer the next day. It never slept, but it's installing security essentials. Oh my. Can you show us the screen? Show us. Show us. Show us. I don't want to turn on the video because in case someone walks in. Look what I said. Uh, I know you might see RTM is do it! <laughs> he what? What? What the fuck? Is it, is it me? It's better. Memes or Annabelle maybe? But I thought you were using. Can I talk for a minute? I thought that your old number. Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm. I thought that your other number on your account was the one you didn't lose, like because you had another sim. I thought, because why would you change it just for being there a week? It doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, I bet you I know yes, 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 yes. Why, dude, Fox? Because if the, up, if the update forbids it, yes. that's why. Guys, I got my Steam account back. I got it back. How did it get taken over? It did it. He just couldn't get into it. He couldn't get into it because of because he needs to disable 2FA because his phone. Oh. I just enable. I just. I just. 
It says an internet connectivity problem. Guys, we're trying. I'm trying to record um, a computer adventure right now. It won't update it. No. I'm gonna take a picture. All right, well, I'm gonna stop the video and let these install and come back when we're done. All right, guys, I'm recording. All right, Dude Fox, what is it doing? It opened up IE11 download. I don't know why. IE11 download? Why? It says Windows 7. Oh my god. Why would you need a download for a win- wait. What? Why would you want to install it for 10? 10 already has it. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna remove security essentials and put a better one on there. Alright, so guys, I'll be back. This hard drive, I think, is an 80 gigabyte hard drive, guys. We think. I can tell by the model number. Yeah, it's an 80. 80 gigabyte hard drive. So it's the original hard drive that was in here. Yep. Well, considering it had the factory image on it, that tells you it's the factory. Oh, yeah. Duh. So I'm gonna do this for... You're gonna what? You know, uh... Windows. Yeah, good idea. There we go. That's better. That's way better. So he's removing security essentials because it doesn't even work on XP. It won't download the, the virus definition. Because they stopped updating um, security essentials on XP. Yeah, that's true. After like a year of it losing support, I think. Maybe even shorter than that. I think they said they removed it on the day XP lost support. They did? I thought they continued to release them until like a certain amount of time and then stopped updating it from what I've heard. Guys, let us know when they stopped updating security essentials on XP. I seem to think it's a little bit after, but he thinks it's like right on the day. So if you guys do know, let us know in the comments. Windows found seven updates. Oh, I wonder what they are. Scroll down. One of them's Windows 7. No. Alright, install. Alright guys, we'll be back. Hoping we're done with the updates, I am recording and we are going to check. I think it's going to be done, but then again, we still have to install SP4 and do that thing. Yeah, it does. It's an unofficial service pack, but it does exist. Yeah. I think I don't know. Oh my goodness, that thing is a. I think we did on. I think we did install it. Oh, was that the XP and the support message? Was it? Actually was it? Was it? Or was it that? <laughs> it's that Sonic update manager. Oh. That game looks cool. That's amazing. It looks real. That looks so real, though. I know, right? I feel like I'm on that ride right now. What's the whole we're right. Ooh. Imagine that in VR, Julia. Here we go. Oh yes. Ooh. Oh yes. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, is there any more updates? Yeah, there are. And there's one XP up. Oh, it's the same three. Yeah, we don't need to install those. Can we hide them? Look at the amount of nausea. Oh boy. SP4. Yes, copy SP4. 
Instead of All right, download SP4. Guys, we're gonna be installing SP4, also known as Service Pack 4. Is it yeah, it's unofficial. I'm gonna make this a little louder so you guys can hear, the, so they can hear you on the video. There. Oh my goodness, Tony, look at that. That's amazing. Yeah, right. Unofficial. Which one's the safest? There it goes. There is no safest. Wait, what? Where'd it go? Who? Uh, you need to update your mouth. Who made SP4? I don't know. Somebody on the internet. I don't know. Mine's off jewel. Okay, no. It is totally not from Microsoft. I would not. Yeah, no crap. It's not from Microsoft. Because if you use unofficial, then you might, uh, screw something up. It's not bad. using it on, like, three different It's fine. Yeah, this one's actually fine. You know, just upgrades to end you instantly. Wait, what? That's impossible, Daniel. No, it's just, Wait a minute. I don't think... No, wait, does Windows Update do service pack for? No, because it's unofficial. Yo, uh, look at my drive. One that the user still supports XP. Oh. <laughs> Guys, look at my drive. That ad, though. Look at my drive. Well, that internet speed is actually... Uh... <laughs> Alright, well, I'm, I'm going to stop this video. Wait for this to download. We might start downloading the other software and put them in that folder while we wait. I don't know, but I will be back. Yeah, let's do that. No, that's bad. That's illegal. All right, gonna stop the video for now while that's downloading. What does it say? Like us or the bunny gets it. Gets what? I gotta send a screenshot of that. Like us or the bunny gets it. All right, bye guys. All right, so we're gonna install SP4. What do you think, dude, Fox? Do it. Do it. Run it. Uh, I am gonna have to eat probably while this is installing because my my food is cooking, but it'll take like ten minutes, so this is gonna be fun. Guys. I just plugged in a sound blaster. You're insane. Mm -hmm. no, I, have sound blaster. I think this is dirty. Hey Bolia. What? Oh, poor thing, poor thing. That's creepy. That is creepy. It is creepy. A little bit. <laughs> All right, so. It looks like SP4 takes a while to extract. Will it actually say SP4? Are you actually? Will, oh, will, will it actually say SP4? No, don't do that. No, stop. I'm recording, you know. All right, guys. Whoever's watching this. No, Daniel, I'm going to cut that out. Yeah, do not SC delete. Or you can do SC delete unless you want totally real fake cookies. I mean, free cookies. No. And delete, you know, you can just cut it out. I know. SP4, here I come. Isn't SP4 like... Unofficial. It's unofficial. Look what I just said, guys. That's... 
Wait, they're what? Not, they're still asking. Oh, God, I did it. We're going to post out some lights. Let's install service pack four. No. The location is big. That's actually. Look at that's like that's like me. Ooh. Here we go. When what use this wizard to install fine software update Windows XP service pack four and let's do this. It looks the same except three sets for. Yeah, what's well, not archive? Who cares? It gave that option this time. And last time it didn't. So it installs like a service pack? How'd they do that? Dude, Fox, how'd they make it look exact and so official? Wait. Guys, I'm asking Dude Fox something. How'd they make it look so official? What? what? How they make it look so official? Don't ask, I don't know. It's amazing. Well, guys, this will take a while. It's 11:35 in the morning now. I'm gonna let this um do its thing. I probably have to eat while it's installing, and I might have to wait to reboot. But I'm gonna tell you guys about how long it took, and I'll come back. Guys, it finished SP4 like 10 minutes ago, I think. Um. How long would you say that installation took? It's now noon. I don't know. All right. I think so. Let's reboot. We. Okay, no. So guys. Yolo, really? Yolo. Guys, I'm recording right now. Um. Hi guys. Hi there. I'm just watching Tony. What am I doing? What am I doing? What is it doing? The computer is just sitting here. It's literally sitting here. I don't know what's going on. That is actually what it's like. There it goes. Uh, the partner's desktop is no longer accessible. Oh no. It's restarting. That is that low. Why'd you put YOLO there? It literally says YOLO. Where? Let me see. Where did he write it? Okay, Tony, Tony, go back to that, the thing that says buy. Go down a bit. So. Then, go back to where it looks like it says YOLO. I. No, like, go back down. Hold on. Where, uh, where, by the crowd of people. That other, that thing. Oh, oh. I don't see it. The thing that looks like a Y. I don't but see it. Oh no. I don't. What's the computer doing? Go, go, go down a bit. That's like an ID thing. <laughs> okay, move to the, the left a little bit. Pat, please wait. No, no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I see it now! I just ejected my. Oh my goodness, I see it now! <laughs> 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 That is so creative. That is actually as a little You know what they say? You only YOLO once. Ha ha ha. Oh dear god, no. Tony, why? I don't know if I want to edit my IDT videos. You need to. Leave them with the password thing. Who cares? There's our penny. Yeah, there isn't. I don't know if I want to not edit them or make them into the two, like one video, or make them into two separate. Do two parts for both IDKU. It's not November update. Wait, no. Are, are you saying like make Ooh. one video and then make another? Who wants me to do an IDKU for a day? 
Oh, I, I don't know. On my Samsung, because it's on RTM. I can run another ISO on RTM. I wonder about if you install November. How about you guys pick another one? Because I ran the ISO called RS4. Which one should I run next? I hope we get November update. What if? I'm running SCU. You mean FCU? F which is RS. RS Wait, which is. FCU is RS3. Whoa, S what's that? S there isn't one named SCU in that folder. I know there's three <gasps> Wouldn't it be so funny if it was. Guys, wouldn't it be so funny if it was flipped to where the one that said RS4 was RTM, which is true, but the one that says RTM is RS4? Uh, it's that because it might be either that or <laughs> RTM just be MU. Either that or get rigged again. <laughs> oh my. No, it's not rigged because they're uh, my ISOs. I like how I was giving hints and then you guys being suspicious. We, we should get noise. Well, guys, I will come back um, to this recording in a little. So he's connected on TeamViewer, but there's this error. So what does this mean? What? Oh no, she's glitched. I guess so, because it's still working. And this uninstall word perfect. That is so annoying. Word perfect. Uh, the guys used to be a word program. I mean, a word spin off of word. I have a disc somewhere. We can reinstall it. It's okay. Yeah. So we're gonna get that going, and we'll come back. Oh, Dude Fox is doing something with Windows components. What did he do? I don't, I don't even know what he did. I think he like enabled something and now it's trying to install something. YOLO. But I'll come back when this is done and figure out what this even is. All right. Oh. Hey guys, it says there's no internet on here and I think he, he said he enabled .NET 4.0 and I guess it's, that's what it's doing right now. There's no internet, there's no explorer. I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna record a video of installing Pandos ISO Windows 10 JU Julia update and I'm gonna combine that with Tony's ISO video So I'm gonna record that right now while this is going and come back to this All right guys, this is Julia since we installed SP4. We're gonna be getting some more updates No, it's not JU. We're not talking about that No, you're getting some JU's. No JU bad no, I installed JU on this and I'm not gonna I don't know if I should spoil what it was just go watch the video when it when it's up uh, It might already be up when you watch this. I'm not gonna spoil BRB. it. Okay You guys can see the old one I'm well always BRB. I'm going to click extra and a custom. Let's custom this What's cut? So, so is that a fake and not a non-official? It's not official, yeah. SP4 isn't official. What about SP5? Is that real? No. SP5 isn't a thing. What about SP69? SP69. Is it gonna be on XP? Oh, oh. Julia likes XP, 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 XP. Oh, that again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at Toby's doing. This is oh, no. Okay, no, look what Tony's doing. What in the heck? Nice. Well, let me see. You look teachers, okay, no. Tony, your your screen share is really crappy quality. Yeah. Well, guys, I'll come back when we find updates. All right, guys, so we're back on here. I tried rebooting, so this thing's obviously popping up again, but Windows Update is, like, stuck. I don't know what's going on, but I might have to do some troubleshooting. Um, Dude Fox has to go to a friend's, and he's going to be busy a lot, so this video probably won't go up, like, immediately, because today is the 5th, but, um... Uh, yeah, I also got this mouse working. This is the old mouse I had before I had this new one Because apparently this one like said USB not recognized, but I banged it against something and it started working I actually banged it against this desk, but we're gonna have to do some troubleshooting on this And I'm just gonna edit the clips I do have and we're gonna come back to this So anything you want to say dude Fox? 
will be interesting to see how everything turns out. Yeah, because I don't know why it's stuck like this. What do you think? Why do you think it's stuck? Um, my guess is that I probably need to see your Windows update, and then I don't have to fix it. Ah, okay. Um, it's probably a glitch or something. Either that or it's, there's like more um, embedded EOS Ready updates than anything. I don't know. It's been checking for quite a while now. Like an hour. Leave it running all night or something. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it running for the next hour or two, and if it if it still doesn't work, it's clearly an issue. There's some because yeah. the automatic updates isn't even popping up on the bottom either. So, guys, I'll come back in a little bit um, when we get this figured out. So I'm gonna stop the video. Anything you want to say? <laughs> what? I've got computers to work on. Yeah, he's got some computers to work on. He got a couple computers from some friends. One with the one with the hard drive password, one with a Windows 7, but it, it like deactivated itself and they said the touchpad wouldn't work, but it was just disabled. And it even still has the factory install, so I wonder how it would deactivate. It's maybe a file got corrupt, maybe someone tried to use the key on other computers. But I thought you said the key on the bottom isn't the same as the factory install. It shouldn't be, you know, at least from what I've read. So maybe it just corrupted. I feel like maybe it just corrupted. I don't know. Or maybe that key somehow got blacklisted, the manufacturer key. Well, I mean, there's only so much we can do. Well, anyways, I'm going to stop the video, so say bye. Hey guys, I'm still recording now. It's been a couple days. It's the 7th now. And I'm going to, um, you see this, this SVC host is like taking up all of it. So I'm just going to end this because it's taking up all the resources. There we go. Bye. Now it's system idle process. Okay. Bye. Oh, I can't end it. I mean, it's a blue screen, but oh well. I mean, it's a the system is acting really bad right now. Sh oh, yeah. Should I reboot? Yeah. Go ahead. So this computer, it says the CPU is only 30, no, 75, it's jumping all around, and I'm going to let you guys hear in the video. It's extremely loud right now. Um, I'm thinking I should reboot. Should, well, the video can. I'm just going to, whoa, the theme got all broken when I ended that process. Oh, well, I'm going to reboot. Oh, yeah, but it was taking up all the CPU. This is why I'm just gonna do this. Holding down power button. That's your only plan. Now let's turn it back on. And I'll come back, guys, and let you know what's going on. Alright, guys, we're uninstalling WordPerfect because it keeps popping up and it's really annoying and I feel like it's slowing down the startup, so that's what we're doing right now. And we're going to try to fix the updates because I do want to say I let it run for hours and it never found updates. It was just stuck on checking, nor is there any icon down here for updates. So I will come back in a little bit. Alright guys, so um, we it, the SVC host is still running. It turns out it's Windows Update, and I think it's because it's trying to check for updates probably continuously, and it's broken. So we need to end this, and we need to try to repair Windows Update um, because it's going really slow. In fact, WordPerfect is still uninstalling, and it's going extremely slow because of Windows Update. So yeah, end that process, and we need to try and stop the service. We need to try to repair it. Listen how loud this is. Delete it, or you can install Windows 7. Or you can delete it. Yeah, but I wanted to keep the OEM install. Yeah, but who cares? XP died in 2014. That was a long time Just ago. end Windows Update. Or just delete it.
No, don't delete it. We're trying to get all the updates. Oh, I get back then XP used to be in its prime, but Ten is in its prime now. Screw Ten, I'm selling XP. Uh, not, I'm not even kidding. 101, how do you get that? Yeah, don't, guys, no arguing. If he wants to install XP, it's up to him. It's not our decision. Oh, that's, that's gonna be his fault, then. Oh, it's gone. I saw it disappear. So now we have to reset Windows Update somehow. I'm not kidding, I'm installing XP on my laptop. So it was Windows Update the entire time, and this is going much quicker now that we stopped it. Let's see if it has some music. So, what's your suggestion? How do we repair Windows Update? I copied some files to the desktop. I'm gonna try them and see which one works. Alright, so we will come back. Okay, so guys, we are installing this easy fix thing. I don't know if this is gonna repair Windows Update. I really hope so. Uh, because it was using all the CPU, so... Wait, what's up with the two icons on the bottom, the two red X's? There's two of them. What? What? There's two of them. I'm recording, not right now. Okay, it's gone. Oh, that is so sad. That is... Because of stupid sound drivers. Stupid sound drivers. Yes. That's sad. I know. But guys, when we get this repaired, we'll come back because this video turned out to be longer that we're going to have to also make a part four now for the programs. So leave down in the comments programs you want us to test. Once again, we have some, but we need more. But I'll come back. Alright, so I thought this was Word Perfect, but it's actually Sonic Update Manager. It's now doing the same thing, so I guess we're just gonna have to uninstall that as well. But I'm gonna have them reconnect on TeamViewer, and we ran the fix. We'll see if it works. So it did not work. So we're stopping the service again, and what are you gonna try now? There's a script that I've copied mm. that should clear Windows Update. Because I feel like it's just corrupted. After SP4, it got corrupted. I don't know how. But it did. So, we're going to be running this script. I don't know when this video will go up. I have a lot to edit. And now that I'm not on Discord a lot, I'll probably edit it tomorrow. Reset Windows Update. Yeah, let's open it. Here we go. How do you run as admin? I don't understand. How do you do that in XP? You right click. This is why I say XP trash. No, you right click and under where it says open, you click run as. You run into the following user administrator. I know XP, but... Are you sure this works on XP? Yes. No, I'm telling Dude Fox. Oh. It says right there, so why is it... Do you have to open a CMD yourself and then tell it to run? Um, it's like no way to run it. Is a run as following user yeah that's a good way to do it but it's not so an option are you still recording? there we go darn it it's because you can't have a password that's blank so is your XP computer basically a room here using Christmas there we go he put a password on the admin account brilliant Julia, I know what you should do. If you're gonna use that computer, use it where it's like really cold outside. Mm-hmm. What? Because it's, it's basically a heater. This isn't working, it makes no sense. What well, makes no sense? This isn't working. Hi, Brandon. Oh, bye. Uh, night. I feel bad for Brandon. Should you just open the CMD, go to that file through CMD? 
I mean, it's all of the, like, air you could live and all that. Now it might work. Because, like, he lives in the UK, and, like, it's nighttime there, and Jack in the Box stays up so late. Why is this not working? I not right now, Julie is making a video, but maybe later. I don't understand why this isn't working. Maybe we can do the rest of the SP4 updates and programs in the next video then. Th this isn't- This is why I always say don't have a computer that's a room heater. Yeah, this computer gets is making the room hot. Yeah, true. I mean, I think it could be possible to water cool that type of computer, but it's a bit of a deal. Do you really want to put that much time and effort into that? Probably not. I mean, you could buy one that's like $60. Guys, I'm just going to stop the video for now and be back because it's gotta get this figured out all right so he's trying to fix this but i think we should probably finish this a little later and put in part four trying to fix it because my office is really hot with the door shut right now and i can't open it and record so this video was already really long already as it is so i think we're gonna make part four Fixing it, doing the updates, but not recording a lot. That way we can record more of the programs. Let us know programs you guys want to see. Everyone, what do you guys want to say to the video? Dude Fox, you want to say something? I want to see. Let Dude Fox. Let Dude Fox say something. Hi. Do you want to explain to them what's going on? So, somehow, SP4 has done something and Windows Update's not working. I don't entirely understand what it's done because it should have worked. It worked on all yours. As to why it's not working, I don't know because I've used SP4 before and it's always worked for me. So, I don't understand. I'm trying to boot the system in safe mode of networking. Do I click Administrator? Yes. This is why I would say- I think I know what you made the password. There it worked, I guessed it. Good password. Maybe you don't use unofficial updates. Okay. Do I click yes or no? I'm gonna click yes. Cause- for her system it's not. Okay, I'm- um, should I- Open I- it's not in the administrator account. Um, C colon. Why do I go to control panel? Uh, go to the C drive. Okay. Documents and settings. And I go to the user. It's. It's not. Sh oh, there, I was in the wrong user. So I think you should stop the video. Wait, I'm you're still recording. Like, you're still recording? Stop. I opened TeamViewer. Hold on. I just remembered the drivers for that are not going to work in safe mode because I'm using an adapter. Dude, Fox, that's not going to work. The internet won't work. There's no. Safe mode with network it says not network. ready. Check your connection. Be you have an internet in no, it's because I'm using that adapter and that adapter drivers aren't running in safe mode even though well, I click networking. You have so can I just run the script myself manually? Because it's not going to have network. Yeah? Yeah, It still says it's not running as administrator. Okay. That's not going to work. So, we're going to have to find another fix, but we're going to find another pick fix in part four. Hopefully the last part this time. If you guys have any suggestions for how to fix Windows Update and XP, because this, this fixer isn't working, leave it in the comments below. But we might already have it fixed by the time you see it, but we might not. So leave comments. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone, and I'm sorry this part might have been a little bit boring.
But if it just would have worked right in the first place, it would have been much easier. So, say bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. bye.